guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Pinball Mafia live stream. Today is Sunday, uh, November the 6th, I believe, Gorin. of 2022. <laughs> hey, Gorin. Hey, Gorin, how's it going? Get it out of the way early. We're going to wait till there's more people here, and then we're going to ridicule you. I don't know what um, you're talking so about, Gorin. thank you so much for stopping by. We're going to play pinball. Uh, get over there. We're playing Iron Maiden and Twilight Zone, by the way. They kind of threw off my... Uh, <laughs> Kind of threw off my groove. Alan, um, Alan jumps right in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go Astro. So, for those of you who don't know, which is zero of you, um, the Astros, these guys right here. Do they play basketball? Is that what they do? They did. They won the World Cup in basketball. Yes. Um, they, no, they won the World Series um, yesterday on November 5th, that would be, for those keeping track. Um, they beat the Nationals in Game 6. The Nationals? Uh, did I say the Nationals? Yes, you did. No, we lost to them. We lost to them two we years ago. Be, uh, we beat the Phillies um, in Game 6 of the World Series, uh, and it was a great time. Game 5 was one of the best baseball games I've ever seen in my life. Game 6 was uh, pretty good because we won. Yeah. But... Um, but man, game five was just a great baseball game altogether. The nerves were, everything was gore. I'm gonna play TNA in a few minutes, so who's the real winner? <laughs> yeah, the Nationals. Yeah, uh, <laughs> in 2019. Preston, go to timeout now. I don't know why I said the Nationals. I've never. Cause they're both wearing red and white. I guess, yeah, but I don't need, I never think of them as existing, much less like could conceivably make that mistake, but here I am. Making that mistake. Uh, how many trash cans were injured during the game? I, I don't know. I, I think I heard a report of some lady stubbing her toe yeah. in the uh, middle of the fourth. Yeah, but I don't think she heard, ended up hurting the trash can. I believe the trash can was rushed to the hospital. Yeah. And it is doing fine. It is doing. It is. It's. It's not. It's not critical. The lady's toe is in a cast. Yeah. yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Goran, I'm going to go play TNA in a few minutes, so ha, who's the real winner? Uh, we are. We're playing the Iron Maiden. After which, 2001. Talk about night and day difference between pinball machines. Yep. We just recorded a video uh, right before this stream, which will be on our YouTube channel sometime in the next six months. Um, Alan, you're like a payphone. <laughs> Better hurry, Leon. There's not much time. I'm always running out of time for something. I'm still phone. Power puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yes. Couldn't find the ramps. Been too long. Yes, this game can be <laughs> hard to find the ramps. Don't put your drink right here because uh, Preston likes to knock the crap out of it. Okay. It turns out I do. Yeah, all over the floor. Blue note noted. <laughs> Blue note noted. So what's going on? Alan! Kelly. Okay, gotta go finish freezing ice cream for next weekend. Hell yeah, I forgot that was next weekend. <laughs> By the way, for any of those who aren't gonna be here for the next uh, stream next Sunday, uh, as it always is with convention weekends, we may, we're probably gonna stream um, because we're normally back yeah. by the time that we have to, and so we stream anyway. Uh, but some, every once in a while, we don't make it back from a convention in time uh, to stream, so there always is a possibility that there will be no stream next Sunday. So just uh, lock that away. Show's over at 2. Surely you'll be back. Although I highly <laughs> doubt it. We'll probably be eager to talk about our experience at the show. Yeah, you usually don't have much trouble getting back from Houston. Yeah, it's the Dallas show that presents a problem. Ooh, yeah, Dallas is a challenge. I'm just preparing them. Houston shows this coming weekend, Alan. 
which is why there may or may not be a stream. That the Houston show was last weekend, we'd be talking about all the cool games that we played. Yeah, we'd like, still be talking about the World Series. <laughs> so true. I stand corrected. <laughs> Just wait till we get to Florida, Goran. You think you're tired of it now? <laughs> and remember, you invited us. Yeah. <laughs> we weren't coming. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you invited us. Should I, wear, should I wear my Astros jersey, Goran? <laughs> we'll behave. <laughs> A little. Bondo Blast, how's it going? We are doing great. For the record, it's only fun to do this with Goran because well, he started doing, doing shit. I can't hit an orange uh, shot so for any of the Astros rule, we agree. Cheers to that. There we go. No disputing, they are the best team in baseball. Well, you can dispute it, but you won't win. <laughs> Burrs, can you get him some Harmon Helper shirts to replace <laughs> Sarcophagus lock. With Godzilla being here, it has been so long since I've played this game. But I did remember to start my multi ball during a mode that didn't have multi ball, so I got that going for me. <laughs> it's been so long since I played, yeah. I forgot which modes do and which modes don't. Oh man! How to start modes. <laughs> Got the center ramp, buddy. Shoot the white shot, red arrows. Shoot the center shot. You mean in an L1 game, I got to shoot the white shots that to is, start a mode? As odd as that is, yes. Alan says, I can play mini golf tonight. I've already updated, updated the, the app. app. Hell yeah. Okay. Charger, figure out where to set up around here. Mine's awesome. Up, mine's on the charger Man, right now. Man, Alan, you are going to love the new course. Yeah, we'll definitely play the new one with Or for you, maybe the new course is. He you, might not have seen Labyrinth yet. Yeah, have you played Labyrinth yet, Alan? Or are you just going to do 20,000 leagues tonight? They're both great. Let's do both. <laughs> Woo. We'll definitely do them on easy, otherwise we'll be there all night. I don't know if my battery pack is charged. I don't know if I can yeah. do both. I can okay. try it. Well, we'll give it a shot. I'm we can definitely do both if we do them on easy. Yeah, I'm fully charged on the real battery and the backup battery. If we're going to do both, we need to do easy. Besides, you can go on the fun golf ball hunt. If he doesn't buy the course, he can't. Well, that's true. If you're a guest, we'll let you hunt the golf ball. He hunt. likes to play as guests. Gotcha. I'm still 50-50. I don't know if we want to keep Alan here or send him back to you. Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to Alan when he moved up north, and man, he caught fire. There must be something in the water yeah. up there. He's, al he's always been good, but man, he just took off. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely something in the water up north. 
Yeah, we got passes through our vendor, uh, I believe. Yeah. Was it Betson? Yeah, Betson got us down. But I, I appreciate the offer. Thanks. But what we need is two free tickets to the uh, Universal Studios uh, <laughs> party Thursday night. Hey, Zach Kindergartner, thank you much for the tier one subscription. There must be some kind of record for gifting subscriptions that he gets. Mm -hmm. You look at T-O-L-P, T-O-L pin <laughs> at all. Not for 150 of these. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Yeah, Kelly, make sure you got everything updated for sure because it takes it a little bit of time. Ten minutes you don't need to waste. Um, mine updated fast, but... Oh yeah, just the mini golf updates quick. It's, if, if you have to update your entire system, it takes forever. Yeah. yeah. Well, it happened to him that he had to update it, and I, I, mine didn't have to do it. And I'm like, oh, I guess, You're gonna I guess I'm up to date. Uh, then what? Two weeks later? Yeah, they caught you. It, it forced <laughs> me to do it. First pin golf ever. I like pin golf. Nice, it's Alan. I should play. be here for both streams. Do you know if it's going to be pin, pin golf by score or, or pin golf by achievement? Because I really love the crazy achievement ones. Score is a lot easier to keep when track When we learned of. pin golf, we started doing pin ball side, golf side tournaments after our main tournaments we had. Yeah. And then we learned about, hey, man, it's a lot more fun doing them with achievements. Uh, so, oh, yeah, okay. It's fun either way. I think if you're doing it as an official tournament, score is a better way because it's verifiable and achievements might not be. Yeah, they're a little harder. You got to play with a partner so they can verify everything. It's a little tedious, but it's fun. The premise is fun. Preston, what you've been doing back there while we were talking? I noticed you're still playing. Uh, crocheting. Crochet, okay. He's he is still trying to figure out where the ramps are. Have you got an afghan yet? Because <laughs> he's he hadn't located the ramp, so he's practicing. Okay. I am. You're in to see. So I'm voting to excommunicate, excommunicate the, the Packers, Packers from, from Green Bay. They're an embarrassment. The other state wants their talentless hack, Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> You wow. You haven't lived with an embarrassment wow. until you've been in Oilers yeah, and Texans. Wait, yeah, you're obviously not up to date with how good the Texans are. <laughs> I would take Aaron Rodgers and the Packers any day. Yeah. And before that, we rooted for the lowly Oilers. So we are used to a horrible NFL team. Yes. Thanks again for oh, gifting another sub. I oh, see, yeah, it's your disease. Thank you. I just read the first line last time. <laughs> we nothing. I'm all cowboys. cowboys. Well, I'm not all cowboys. Yes. The majority of I must say I like the cowboys more than I used to. Yeah. I used to literally hate the cowboys. Well, after that first game where the Cowboys looked like they were going to be worse than the Texans, yeah. boy, did they turn that around. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the Lions, the Browns, the Old Oilers, the Texans. Those are some teams that struggle a long time. <laughs> it's 
pretty new to Green Bay. True, the Lions beat Green Bay today. Yeah, so because, the, wow. Green Bay has a learning curve. <laughs> For a while there, a lot of the problems was Aaron Rodgers yeah. lost all of his wide receivers, right? Yeah. Not, well, not all of them, but Most. all the good ones. Yeah. Uh, and I, I bought into, yeah, there's, these receivers aren't running routes the same way. So he's throwing where the, the ball where they should be, not where they are. Okay. Um, which good, good theory. Is kind of really, I, I was talking, then I, I talked, excuse me, I watched on TV mm -hmm. other quarterbacks who are now uh, announcers mm -hmm. talk about, you know, like a coach once told me, when you get new receivers, quit throwing the ball where they should be throw it where they are and he said it helped him a lot yeah um you're not, you're and that's what Aaron's doing and now in the, when I was watching I had the red zone on today uh -huh. flip-flop in between games and every time he was throwing interceptions at the end zone mm -hmm. and he's there's so many passes he's throwing falling backwards off his back foot and yeah and I'm like first, what are you yeah doing? first of all you shouldn't be doing that yeah it just it, it, it looked like a rookie out there he probably did it when he was younger and stronger and could get away with it Aaron Rodgers beat the Packers today the Lions just watched <laughs> that's about a true yeah, statement a good way to put it Alan they drive to the end zone Aaron Rodgers hands them the ball yeah throws them in there just throws them the ball to the Lions uh -huh. Get the ball back, drive to the end zone. He does the exact same thing. And I believe he might have done it a third time. Meanwhile, Preston is killing it back behind us. 758 million on ball one. This is just a warm up. In case Preston doesn't know, this game doesn't count. It's only a warm up. <laughs> oh, no one told me. <laughs> yeah. Preston wasting his time on the warm up game. <laughs> he needs to quit doing I can't even oh Aya Husaka <laughs> yeah and remember what he's getting paid what the for. hell is Aya Husaka all right oh well is it my turn <laughs> it's your turn congrats insane Searching for the wasted years. Nope. That's good, Kelly. You're going to love the new course. Too much time. The new course is in league with the candy course. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. It's, in fact, it's 20,000 leagues with the candy course. Technically, uh, sorry, yeah, twenty thousand leagues. In this. Yeah, see where I went there. I did. I saw exactly where you went. You went about roughly twenty thousand leagues and stuff. So, did anybody mention the Astros won the World Series? <laughs> uh, I don't think it's been mentioned. You want to talk about it? On a smash home run, 450 feet, second longest home run in World Series history. Jordan Alvarez. For that, the win. that was a bomb. Over baby. the center field <laughs> wall. That was insane. So Seattle brings in a left-handed pitcher to face him, and he bombs one. Yep. The next game, Seattle does the same thing. Brings in a left-handed pitcher, and he bombs one to beat them and send them home. And then... What do the Phillies keep doing? They keep yep. bringing in left-handed pitchers, and he is by far the best hitter for left-handed pitchers there is. He absolutely and is. Bombs one and they lose. Yep. Like, history repeats itself. His yep. batting average is worse versus right-handers, and they yep. just keep going with old statistics. Yep, they sure do. You mispronounced Brewers. Even though my time was extended. I mean, I'm a Phillies fan, but obviously the Astros deserved it more. Well, we appreciate that, Kenny. 
I almost, they're just their pitching this year is lights out. It's crazy. I almost Alan says I almost passed out when Jordan hit that home run. I bet he did. I was super. I I fully believe that that is true. Um, I loved that he did it. Uh, but every every time he walks up to the plate, I expect him to hit a home run now. So it didn't. It had gotten that way. It, the score was already three to one in my head before he hit it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You don't waste any time. No, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the but the problem is I, he frequently will go up there and strike out, and then the <laughs> score drops, which doesn't happen in baseball. Yeah. Suddenly we have less runs than we did. So what you're saying is the umpires don't see it the same way as you do. No, uh, no, they don't. Yeah. It's like a innocent till proven oh. guilty thing for me. Like Pre he's hit the Pre home run Preston until he doesn't. Told me an interesting factoid uh there Did are I? people that keep uh score oh. cards for the umpires yeah which game was it game four okay. i believe the umpire behind the plate got a perfect score on his umpire report card did not, um, he did not make a he, single incorrect call baller strike he he got the call right every single time so that, that was pretty impressive which is uh quite impressive Alan says, I'm serious. I was screaming so loud and jumping up and down, and all of a sudden I got this huge head rush of adrenaline, and thank God my bed was next to me. I face planted onto the bed head first and gathered myself for a second. It's okay, Alan. <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I had to ask my wife if we really won <laughs> <laughs> on the off chance it was a dream. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a F up from my part. Luckily, she can. I think we it. were all thinking it. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna, uh, You're gonna? I'm gonna get some more whiskey. What's that red arrow in the center? Oh my goodness. Oh, is it, it's cyborg. Is, is it a cyborg? Cyborg, by the way. You never go see the Bucks in game seven and wear a shirt that says, I just hope everyone has fun. <laughs> Understandable. In case y'all are wondering what the drink of the night is, it is Blue Notes, uncut, juke joint whiskey. And I gotta say, it's really, really good. I'm enjoying this. Um, it's some good stuff. I'm, I'm not a huge whiskey drinker, and it's really good. The uncut uh, jute joint whiskey is a, uh, they're all barrel picks. Every liquor store you get is gonna have a different barrel. And we had the luxury of having three different bottles from three different barrels, and we tasted them. And we, you can tell a difference. Yeah. There is a distinct difference between each bottle. Oh, is that when you FaceTimed them and they were still watching game five? Yeah. For those that don't know, Alan's wife uh, and a group of her friends mistakenly put on game five instead of, the, the, live, DVR. Instead of the live game for quite a while without noticing. My so God. We, we got a good awful. laugh out of that. Did Zach Kenny Garner ask what we were drinking tonight and I before I showed that? I think it was almost simultaneously. Because I yeah. didn't read that before <laughs> now. I think you were going to get it while, when he put that up there. That, that's unbelievable that none of them noticed that. Because I, I would have noticed in a heartbeat. <laughs> because I always look at the top for you know, series tied two to two, Astros lead. Yeah, the game. Yeah. They're, hey, they're wearing the same uniform. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, what I, you were, know, <laughs> you know what I look at. Where are they? <laughs> there were yeah, a lot of yeah, 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 exactly. That's not Minute Maid. Man, they're not playing in Minute Maid Park. So there were a ton of clues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, they're getting hits at the exact same spot as last night. <laughs> 
I'm drinking a smoke and spice. It's wild turkey, barbecue, barbecue bitters, bitters, brown sugar, rimmed with a spice rub. Wow, okay. That sounds interesting. Sounds like something I'll have to try at some point. What is what is barbecue bitters? Uh, bitters that are barbecue oh, no. flavored in some really capacity, I assume. I'm not familiar with barbecue bitters. Sounds But delicious. I just found out yesterday I can get cardamom bitters for All a right, drink. All right, Altuve, it's your turn. <laughs> Alan says, 10 people at my house and nobody noticed until Tony saw y Yuli get hurt. Again, I guess. And she said, wait, wait this is a replay? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty far into the game to not notice. Yeah, that was almost the end of the game. I have changed her name in my phone to Game 5. She'll never live this down. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, that's hilarious. I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah. Did she record it? I haven't it? made one like, shot. locally? Or... I, I don't understand how that mistake got made. No, Surely no one aired it at the same time that the other one was being aired. I'm a fan of cocktails that drink like a meal. Hence my mutual love of the Bloody Mary. I gotta say, I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of those. No, uh oh. Bloody Mary's are one of my least favorites. It ain't coming off there. Would you, uh, Leon. Where, where'd you get it stuck? A top right of the ramp. Uh, I top like a Bloody Mary every top once right in a while, ramp. but I will say I. I uh, top right on the ramp. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> You're right, that's not coming down. I'm. Um, Mostly a normal cocktail drink. I, I don't do the cocktails that can be a meal uh, thing. But I appreciate those that do. That's hilarious. Congrats, D. Although I think winning the World Series is close to one of the best feelings uh, as a sports fan. Flipper? Still yeah. remember 05. Sorry for that one. Uh, absolutely not. We, bear, we hardly remember it. Sure as hell weren't there for, for, for very long. It's good to just rip the Band-Aid off and be done. Rip the Band-Aid off what? The 05 World Series. Oh. He said, he said, uh, he said um, still remember 05, sorry for that one. And I was like, uh, yeah, we, we really barely remember it. We uh, <laughs> just in and out, rip the Band-Aid off, get it over with, it's over, move on. Yeah, let him win, Lidge. Yeah, that, let him win, Lidge. That was my nickname for him. They call, they wanted to call him Lights Out, Lidge, but... But I, he wasn't. I called him Let Him Win, Lidge. Yep. Put in Lidge as a closer. The other team is going to win. No matter how many runs they need at the time. Yeah, walk off home run against him. I remember 05 too. I was in the fifth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been in the seventh. No, would not have been in the seventh. Math doesn't add up in my head somehow. I also remember, I don't know if it was a playoff I think it was game in the or, sixth a, grade or, so. or a World Series game. We were playing the Mets. It would have been back in the 80s. You would have been in the 80s for the Mets? Yeah. yeah. I remember we were playing the Mets. Unless I'm crazy. And I wasn't really into baseball back then. I remember listening to it at the catering center. It was a big game. Could have been just a playoff. Yeah. Maybe it was a World Series. I don't know. Alan, I hated Pujols his whole career for that home run off lid. Once he hit his <laughs> 700th home run, I finally caved and acknowledged his greatness. <laughs> He's a really good. Uh... Oh, thank you so much to. I can't... Rice Ask. Thank you. Rice Ask. Thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you every week. Fish Food 76, thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate it. Looking forward to seeing you every week. Um, we do. What was I going to say? Yeah, Pool Holtz is, is a really, he's a good player. Mm -hmm. He's great at hitting home runs. 
Not very fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who are you talking about? Pujols. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah he is not a speedster by any means. But boy, Albert could ruin some Astros. The pleasure is ours. Oh, my Lord. Day. Especially back when we were in the National League. What Alvarez did to the Mariners and the Phillies uh -huh. is what Bullhose did to the us. Astros every time uh, we played him. Yeah, I yep. used to hate seeing that guy come up to bat. Me too. <laughs> I know, we were just screaming at the TV yeah, walk to pitch him. around. Walk, walk him, him, walk, walk him, him, walk him, and boom, home run, game over. All right. I always pronounce his name Pudge Oles. Uh, I always called him Pool Hall. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, either way. Yeah, in his uh, prime, I would have walked in a run before I let him hit. <laughs> yeah, the, the guy. I went to the World Series uh, when the Rangers were playing uh, St. Louis uh -huh. uh, up in Dallas. So you got to see him again. And I got to see pool holes. And uh, my friend Kenny had a uh, sign that he held up, and it said, Confucius say, <laughs> pool holes stink. <laughs> That's a good one too. <laughs> Alan used to say, "Say hit him in his pool holes." <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> too many ways to make fun of his name. Well, Preston's got a war going on back there. Jet fighters. Yeah, you know, I had a decent, a decent ball on ball three. Yeah. And he just broke a billion. He's yeah, making, making it look scoring. like I don't even know what the hell like I'm doing. Yeah, double scoring. Yeah, double scoring. <laughs> Nobody said it when I got it. I just happened to see it pop up on the screen. <laughs> yeah, Kelly did it. Hey, thank you, Kelly. The Russian chess champion. That sounds like a joke. <laughs> Did you hear about the controversy with the Russian chan chess champion? Yeah. She blanked her rook. Oh, my God. That's exactly how that game show worked, though. Yeah, oh, I know. Then people would come up with the stupid ass answers. I'm gonna go with painted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Zero. Gotta play with those <laughs> custom sets. <laughs> Your other right. Nice bounce over. Thank you. Hot damn. <laughs> That's a good call out. Ow. He is, oh, oh I'm going to say, he is not far away from lapping me. He lapped you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's going to be a Preston. Well Dennis. played, gentlemen. <laughs> I think that's high score of the night. I think it is. Uh, let's see. So that is one. Preston Dennis, right? Oh, mm -hmm. wait, one, four, oh, one, three, sixty. Hopefully somebody gives you a copy paste. I'm going to see if I can remember that. One, oh, eight, one, four, oh, one, three, sixty. Something to that effect. Well, we're going to get in two games of this before we move on to 2001. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yep. Here, hit both flippers. One, oh, eight, one. 401360. Nailed it. All right. And away we go. This game is just so much fun to play. Absolutely. It is a great game. It is a get your blood pumping, fast adrenaline game. How secret was that skill shot, you guys? <laughs> Uh, super, super the, I believe. Super yeah. is the correct answer. Um, I get into like phases with chess, but I've never really gotten deep into it. I, I know enough to 
uh, like, I can beat someone who just learned how the pieces move. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. I don't know that I can do that. Yeah. Because I have, I know, I do not understand chess strategy. Oh, yeah. I know how the pieces move, and I can play. I've played many, many, many games of chess. Mm -hmm. well, but I've never learned an ounce of strategy, nor how to implement it. Yeah. It is helpful to know. Yeah. I do know that you had a castle where you could leave your three uh, pawns and you. Yeah, I, yep. can, do, I can do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's the extent of my chess strategy. Kenny Gardner gifts a tier one sub to Sagittarius A. They've much. given six gift subs in the channel. Get out of town. It's crazy, isn't it? That is so many gifts. Yeah. It Thank is, you. It is a gift Thank sub you. evening. So it's a good night to be here. Queen's Cheers, Gambit sir. and learned nothing. Queen's Gambit was awesome. <laughs> yeah. I learned, uh, I learned how to play chess on the ceiling by watching that. Yeah. So well, but that, then, I mean, how does that help you? Yeah. You know, you got to play it in front of you. Yeah, not much. But yeah. I did learn how to do knee, that. Knee kick glue. Knee kick glue. All right. Love the screen name. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much. Not even my For turn. For the follow, we appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you every week. I'm getting up to go play. It's not even my turn. Leon, play out of turn? Is that no. Dancing Gorillas? Yes, I believe it is. What? Knee kick Lou. Mm -hmm. I, was, I couldn't even, not only could I not read it. And we got the spastic cat. Yes, yeah, we're Penn Stadiums on here. A girl yeah. with ear uh, phones and a tea kettle that's going berserk. For the record, <laughs> when you're in person, all the lines you see on the video, we don't see near as bad here. Mm -hmm. But you can buy the Penn Stadiums now that have the diffuser channel and it gets rid of them completely. Yeah, these are the old original Penn Stadiums. And they do have the lines on the metal. Zach Kenny Gardner is going crazy. That is seven gift subs. Zach, Zach, Zach. Yeah, but if we yeah if we ever get more pin stadiums for more games, it will definitely be the ones with the diffusers. Although, like Dennis said, the camera makes these look a lot worse. It's not that bad in real oh. life. Oh, well, that wasn't quite my ball one from last game. Oh well. I'm making, I'm making it, it a, a sub only chat tonight. tonight. Well, I really appreciate <laughs> I it. I like that. Yes, they, uh, this, he's gone through many iterations on the uh, Penn Stadiums. Uh, this is one of the first ones that uh, had the flashers that we got. How are you doing so and, good? Uh, I'm not. Did you see my last ball? <laughs> the flashers are uh, black light. So, All of my score was in ball one of last game. <laughs> yeah, the black light flashers are really cool. Yep. Yeah, we're doing a big giveaway tonight. Unfortunately, you have to not be a subscriber or be a mod, so. <laughs> or present. Looks like, uh, yeah. <laughs> you also can't be here. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately, no one is eligible, thanks to Kenny. Mm -hmm. But the winner will be definitely be surprised. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if any of y'all have played World Flipper, but it's honestly a wonderful little iOS Android game. Pinball theming and gameplay is on point and is also surprisingly forgiving in terms of gotcha elements. Well, that's awesome. I will have to give it a shot. Let me, I'm going to put it in my phone. Uh, I am almost completely out of storage on my phone, so I can't download it here, but I can make a note of it and yeah. do it on my iPad. I will, I will definitely give it a shot. World. Th thanks for the uh, Flipper. Info. I will uh, hopefully bring that up next uh, week. 
Plus, Plus the art style and character characters are super charming. Awesome. All right. I've played a lot. Uh, there's a pinball game I've been playing. Just like as tables come out, I've been playing it, and it's. Uh, Oh man, it's on the iPad. I don't know what it is, but it has um, has some classic games. Like it's got Medieval Madness and you know all yeah. uh, like seven of like real tables, and then it's got some of their own that they've done. Zen maybe? No, not Zen. It's like Zen, but it's uh, it's like its own thing. I I, I think that on the app it's just called like Pinball Party or something. Uh, yeah, pinball party. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, I have three stars on every table. <laughs> just saying. No, but like, I just kind of, I, I never really play it, but then I'll check every once in a while. I'll look at it and I'll see like, is there a new table? And then if there is, the next like hour or two is me just trying to get three stars on that table. And then when I do, I just set it back down, and I wait for another table to come out. Alan just posted an interesting question. Oh, that reminds me. My old Penn Stadium's lost the adhesive where the magnet sticks to the lights on one side. As did I ours. I super glued the magnet back to the light. As did we. And when I put the glass back on, now the glass has a super glue haze. Ours does not. Can the glass <laughs> be fixed? He I got don't made. know. That's interesting. Is it regular glass or Invisiglass? Not that, it, not that it's going to help me with my answer any. It would, actually. I think <laughs> it would help a lot with the answer. Honestly, didn't know where my next shot was. I'd finished the multi-ball. Nothing on the play field was lit, and he was counting down. Start Four, regular three, well, good. two, and nothing was lit. I'm like, what do I shoot? In, yeah. In that case, you're only going to be out 20, 30 bucks, so no biggie. Yeah, uh, um, the Williams pinball app I played for a while, but I got really sick of it. Uh, I don't remember what. Oh, it's because I think they wanted me to buy extra stuff to be able to play the machines. Yeah. And I didn't want to do that, so I just kept playing like the demos of the machines, and I would see how far I could get until it cut me off. But, uh, but we had the same thing happen here, Alan, but we just used tiny dots of super glue, and there's no haze on our glass. But our adhesive started coming off on our right-hand channel, I believe. I think that's I think that's correct. Yes. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Other than glass, regular glass planer, I'm not sure what I would try on that. I don't know, because that uh, super glue is made out of an, uh, like a acid, isn't it? I, I, don't, I don't know. what. Cyanide acid? It's like Acrylate, a Acrylate, yeah. Yeah. Like a cyanide type thing. Uh, so we should drink it? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, I've seen it put... Cyanide. Cyanoacrylate. Acrylate. Ac acrylate. Ac right. There's no R. Yeah. I've always heard it acrylate. Well, if he, if it's, if Burr's spelled it correctly, there's no R. I'm sure Burr spelled oh, it correctly. Oh, there you go. Er, acrylate. There you go. He put the R in on okay. a second typing. Acetone. So is that fingernail polish? Remover? Acetone might. It'll remove the super glue. It might remove the haze on your glass. I would try an alcohol, maybe at a fingernail polish remover. Since it's not, if it was uh, non-glare glass that has the special coating, hey, I would no more put uh, acetone on that than the man on the moon. We didn't put any ads in. It's not, it's not us. What? Sinky goes, wait, ads. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely going to try out World Flipper, Sagittarius. I always like to have a good game on my phone I can play when I'm bored. 
Isn't tempered glass just heated like it should withstand chemical attack? It's AR glass. Bad news. Yeah. I am no glass expert. Oh, another gift sub. Yep. <laughs> You guys you are awesome tonight. No stumbling onto our stream without being a subscriber, or Zach's going to give you one. Congratulations, APB Enterprises. And thanks again to Zach Kenny Gardner. <laughs> so, if anybody's out there lurking, you want to. Do a post. Who knows? Maybe you'll get a gift sub. Maybe not. Uh, you know, it's usually the Dallas show that has the has the really good, well, really good cheap regular glass. I've never seen them selling it at the Houston show. Yeah, it's always at the Dallas show. Pinball, Princess Jillian. I think we only or have. Jillian. I don't have my glasses on. I think it's Jill. Yeah, Jillian. Welcome back. It's been a while since we've seen you. <laughs> Moody, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, he gifted one to Barbie too. Time for some more Bluno. We ran out of that other bottle, so I'll see how this barrel compares. You, you outlived the dream? Thanks for the, uh... Hello, Cork. Thanks again, Zach. You set it on a concrete floor, and yeah, that'll do it. Oh, oh, that's, that's yeah. That's why... Never, ever, doing? ever put glass on a concrete floor. Ever. That is why you need these cute little toys, I believe, from Pinball Life, if I'm not mistaken. They slip on the edge of the glass on the corners, and when you set it down, it keeps the glass totally off the floor and shock resistant, so no explosion. You can get uh, tempered glass and beat the crap out of the middle of it, and it's not going to break until you really I mean, smash the yeah. shit out of we it. We have carpet in our game room, and I still use these things when I can. Although we've never had one break on the carpet yet. But... Why well, take a chance? Rings? Just yeah. clicking the edge, going tick. Yeah, I'm always, I'm very careful with my ring finger. Belt buckles, when you're sliding it off and it hits you right there. Yeah. Belt buckles, it'll just. Are you in a wizard mode? He wants to know, Preston. Uh, no, I'm just in mummy uh, multiball. Mummy multiball is the answer we're looking for. Mummy multiball. It looks like he's close to cyborg again. Got all his yellow inserts solid. Well, Birds, I was helping everybody else. I obviously knew your great knowledge of glass. I worked in the glass room of a window factory. <laughs> Craig! Hey! Ghost Rose! Thank you very much. We've already done our Astros taunting, but. Uh, Thanks for bringing them up again. Alvarez. Yeah. Alvarez. <laughs> what a bomb that was. Yeah, any metal sinky that just, I mean, it just has to lightly touch and just go. Yeah, tink. it just sends a shock wave through the edge of the glass and off it goes. It's crazy. It doesn't take much. We want Houston. <laughs> After the game, I had a friend that was at the game. Yeah. And as she was leaving, she had, she was uh, her and about a million other people holding their phones up oh, recording. I, I saw that. And as as teams won their series and knew they were going to be coming to play Houston, the fans would start chanting, "We want Houston." And turns out no they did it. <laughs> they As all they the did. fans were leaving last night, the, the game, they were all chanting, we want Houston. <laughs> You're welcome, Alan. For the record, I'm the one who said it, but <laughs> you can thank him if you'd like. 
Cyborg is lit. Or, no, he's in it. He's in Cyborg. That's I, why it's I, lit. I have not been paying attention. <laughs> this is a wizard mode, for the record. I guess it's a wizard mode, I'm like a mini wizard mode. It yeah. is, it's a mini wizard mode. I've never seen the close-up of that gravestone that it just showed either. And some kind of bronze plaque that it panned back from. Didn't get to read it. If I bring a non-functioning pre-war to Houston, want to help me fix it? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah, see what we can do to help. More eyeballs on it can't hurt. Which of you guys had the kiss belt buckle? <laughs> First time, Big Cat 8. Like the name. I'm, I'm not, not going to tell a mini wizard that he's not a wizard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, that's probably uh, pretty smart. Uh, we, yeah. Words to live by. Hey, welcome <laughs> to the stream. I do not have a KISS belt buckle. <laughs> Alan's questioning. I'm throwing the red flag. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to throw the red flag, Alan. I'm throwing it. Which, by the way, those are some damn good commercials. Yeah, I'm getting to see some screens that I don't remember on the video. The commercials of what? Throwing the red flag. What was that from? You haven't seen the throwing the red flag commercials? I don't think so. Like the uh, the the boy and the girl who were going, uh, they were about to go canoeing. Uh -huh. She's like, you brought you brought the uh, the life vest, and she's like, no, no, you grabbed the life vest. Mm -hmm. She said, no, you said you grabbed the life vest, and she throws the red flag, and out of nowhere, a guy comes with a replay booth, uh -huh. and I've, it's him saying, yeah, I'll get the knife vest. I've seen one of those. It wasn't the life vest. Yeah, the yeah. other one's the uh, the kid and the dad, and the dad screaming about uh -huh. catching a spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen the life vest one. That's the only belt buckle I ever had. I remember having, uh, or was it you? You had a Looney Tunes one? Yeah, I did. I had a Looney Tunes belt buckle. Yeah. I had Roadrunner on it. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember a crazy big one that it I It was, had. uh, it was the fox. And he, the coyote. Fox, the coyote. And he had the Roadrunner in his oh, grass. Yeah, the beep. And it said, now beep beep. Uh huh. Then you, I think you also had a shirt that said, beep, beep my ass. Yes, <laughs> beep, beep my ass. <laughs> I remember that. Mom did not like me wearing that. No, she would not have liked that. <laughs> Our mom didn't even know what the word progressive meant. <laughs> Extremely conservative. Well. Upon further review, Dennis is the one that said both rings and, and belt, belt buckles, buckles can be dangerous. And then I mentioned, yeah, okay. Upon that Dennis saying rings, Leon mentioned that he's always careful wow. with his rings. We can fingers. count on Burrs, ultimate referee in chat. <laughs> in life. And in life in itself, <laughs> yeah. For sure. I'm also counting on him for ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> For the record, Burrs, I might have a lot of time to help you fix that thing. Yeah. Because as of now, I was like number seven on the wait list for the Houston tournament, and, and I've yet to get he's in. He's still not in it. Yeah. I'm still not in. Right now, I'm the only one in the tournament. He's the only one in the tournament. I'm not in it. Preston's not in it. Kelly's not in it. 
Allen's not in it. Allen won't even be there, so I hope he doesn't get in. I was allowed to hang any poster such as Farrah Fossa, Farrah Fawcett on the bedroom door so mom wouldn't see when door, door yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very clever. That was a classic poster too. If you dare. So what are we on? Ball two and Preston's after one billion even almost. Billion eighty one. Oops, that's, that's not the right orbit. What's that? That is the uh, kind of left orbit. Oh, okay. Wow. Even though I can't wait to see the. I've I've only played your uh, your pinballs at the Dallas show. I've never opened one up. But they're so simplistic. It's got to be fairly easy to figure out. Yeah, I used to go through all those posters at yes. Spencer's. Yes, same here. You had to go by the, the cats hanging off the thing with the hang in there, hang baby. Hang in there, baby. The hang 10 posters of the surfing. Of course, Farrah Fawcett. I had that heart poster. Oh, I tried, the band? I tried yeah, to get the band. greedy. Mm -hmm. Ann and Nancy. <laughs> Should have just caught it like normal. I got greedy, went for so the pop bumper spinner on the fly. Bought a Bally Airways, so we had mine sitting open to show the inside. That's kind of cool. Yes, the fuzzy velvet posters. Those were awesome. Oh, sorry. Fleet, the dice game. Um, I really, uh, I don't remember what um, machine you brought that I really, I loved it. I think it might have been Fleet. Yeah, I don't know them by name, so I can't, I, I can't help you with the names and knowing what they look like. Yeah, it was one where you got it down at the bottom and then you had to like go through this tiny little thing in the middle and if you did, it would bring it up that ball would go up like a point value every time you got it in the top. And it, I, don't rem I don't remember what it was called, but it was, it was really cool. Yes, Fleet's the one with cannons that fire the balls back up the play field. Yeah. That one was great. I can't believe on both games Preston's gone over a billion. That's kind of cool, Burrs.
<laughs> I haven't seen any on his stream. Of course, I don't watch his stream a ton. What happened? The Jack Danger might be eating up all the pre-war era games. <laughs> oh, I can see it. I don't, uh, I don't know him that well, but he seems like a guy that would want to eat a pinball machine. <laughs> he might be bringing one of his to Houston. <coughs> we'll see. Didn't know he now, was going to Houston. Yeah, now he'll know to look for it. Leon. Feel your neck mm -hmm. skin crawl? Yes. I heard that. <laughs> your neck skin? Better hey. than some other kind of skin. Hey, I'm back. I guess, yeah. Wow. Burrs, 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 burrs. He's a typing fool. Ooh, Preston's drinking a cup of coffee. That smells really good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Jordan and Becca are some of the folks that have been pestering me Please. since TPF to come to Houston. Well, hell, we've only been doing that for five years. And once Becca starts saying stuff, everyone listens. <laughs> She's got some sway. It's the checkered pants. It's the checkered pants. Yeah, for the checkered sure. pants do it every damn time. Damn checkered pants. Pants <sighs> or pants? We need to get <laughs> we need to get pants with different <laughs> patterns on them and see who listens to who more. Okay. Like, will Chevron? Will that be? Will that outdo Becca's checkers? Or I hope my body never gives up on coffee because I really like it. <laughs> oh my God, I love coffee. But if I had to, I could give it up. But I do really like it. I would be so sad if I had to give up coffee. <laughs> what? Everything's collected. But now I gotta get through this crap. Hmm. Cool, birds. Ha. He's about to go past his high score tonight. Yeah, I just noticed that. So, if y'all are getting used to these 30 minute long games, <laughs> prepare to not prepare. Be. <laughs> yeah, prepare to watch us play 100 games in an hour as we switch over to 2001. <laughs> That's why I freaking hate that mode. Speaking of which, I need to go erase the whiteboard over there. Did you beat the score? I don't know. It's still <laughs> counting stuff up. Maybe not. Yeah. No. Maybe not. No, you did not beat the high score of the night. Yeah. Good. Now I don't have to type one in. All right. So that is a Preston Dennis finish. Yep. And a game. Move. <laughs> and a game moving right. game. Preston, so Dennis, I'll, I'll and one point space. for high score of the night. Huh? I need your chair space. Oh, yes. Sorry. We got to get. And you. now that that's over, those points are now meaningless because we're going to go to 2001 and play a thousand different games of it um, for I'd the same amount of points each. Meaningless because I have zero. 
They mean a little to me. Nope, they're meaningless. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch up in 20 minutes on this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So while they get set up over there. Oh, I need to stay over here. Are you getting set up over there? Ooh, so we leave. Turn uh, the, the turn the light. We got to be at Houston Friday morning for the Texas Pinball League. Um, we do because we, we're not in the regular tournament, but we're in the cool people tournament. Yes. Yeah. How we're going to describe it. Yep. I'm going to go. I'm going to win that one real quick. And then I'm going to walk around the show for two days and just have fun. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. I forgot. What that. I never get to do at a pinball tournament <laughs> is I, walk around the show and have fun. I forgot we weren't in the main tournament. Uh, and by the way, we're not in the main tournament because we didn't get tickets in time because we forgot they were going live, which was stupid. Yeah. But we did it. Um, I have never not been in one of the tournaments for a show that I've gone to. Yeah, this is my first time. This will be a first for me. Yeah. I'm going to have to pretend to like people and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I'm getting there. We probably shouldn't have left this on here with air conditioning blowing on it for as long as we did. Oh, it's most likely fine. All right. Cool people tournament all the way. <laughs> Leon, we giving you all of Alien. Oh, <laughs> Aliens. Allen's uh, and Kelly's points as well. So there you go. He didn't hear that because he was playing, but we'll let him know uh, later that, that he got uh, those uh, charity points. Whoa! <laughs> Leon has got the blue hole lit. Mm -hmm. Of course, that means it won't go in it. Oh, but it ah, went in got there. The, got the, blue <laughs> just, the blue inlay. Just as good. Yeah. <laughs> Same amount of points right there. It's just as good, but it's ten times as dangerous. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I can't can't ignore that fact. When is MGC? Don't know. Oh, Leon's got the yellow hole in. Oh, apparently it is uh, two weekends from now, according to uh, Burrs. Leon missed his shot. Oh, there he Now he's got the red hole in. Is this all on ball one? This is all it's on ball, ball two. Ball, ball two, yeah. Ball two. Oh, wow, just taking pot shots at the center, because why not? Because he can do what he wants, folks. <laughs> he panicked a little. Well, that was fun. No, I said I said weekend after next, or I said I, I did. We need to uh, red flag. What? Go back, back and here. review what I said. The weekend after next weekend. I said, I said something to indicate that it wasn't this coming weekend. All righty, Leon with a great score. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. I got the wrong thing wrong. Okay. You got your score? Yeah. All righty. Sorry. So you can go ahead and stop typing that correction. I know that I got it wrong. <clears throat> this game looks hella good. It is hella good. It's in hella good condition, except for apparently that insert right there uh, that I've never noticed is slightly cupped until I started talking about the condition of the game. Um, but other than that, everything's in great condition. It helps that it was caked in a layer of dirt for God knows how many years. Yeah, this is uh, and it preserved the play field very well. <laughs> this is a garage find. Yeah. It looked like crap when we found it. Yeah. So if you saw the Facebook post of the guy that found the Varkon, it's kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw those messages that y'all were sending about that. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah in a barn. The guy finds a Varkon in a barn. Ah. I mean, it was in pretty rough shape, but uh, <laughs> worth taking the time to fix. Mm -hmm. I love Varkon. Um, 
Yeah, a friend of ours has it. So it's not it. a good long-term game. Like, I wouldn't want to, I don't know that I would want to own it, other than to just say that I have oh, one. Yeah, because it's so rare. But, um, personally, I would, I would, uh, I would take that Varkon, I would fix it up, I would keep it for two years, yeah. and then I'd sell it off to the highest bidder. Leon, I beat you, and I never lit one of the holes. Wow. That's hard to do on this game. It really is. In fact, that might be the highest score ever scored without lighting a hole. I bet that just set a world record. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't need a whole lot of love. All right. Here we go. <laughs> here. I'm going to take a second to like Preston did and go make myself a cup of coffee. All right. And when I finish this, I might do the same thing. On my last few sips of Blue Notes, which has been delish tonight. <laughs> as good as this is, the coffee is starting to take over the room. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Uh oh. Well. You were heading back up top. With I that did one. too. <laughs> there we there, go. There now he's back in the area you want to be in the entire game. Just doing that all night if you're lucky. Favorite TV show of all time? Chuck. Uh, Preston says Chuck, which is a great answer. I like that in a lot of ways. I'm gonna have to go off the top of my head with Seinfeld. I love the humor. I love the way how every episode wraps back around to finish itself up. Buffy, another great one. Buffy'd probably be my number two. Because I'm a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer fan. That's impossible to answer. It really is. Alan says, cheers in the office. Two great shows. My, oh my gosh, my buddy's in Boston and yeah. he just sent me a picture from Cheers. Oh, that's true. It's really called the Bull and Finch. Yeah. And he was there just a few hours ago. And it doesn't look anything like the Cheers bar from the TV No, just shows. the stairs going down from the outside. Yeah. 5035, uh, the high score of the night. Gilligan's Island for the win. That Preston's Nash. MASH was a great show when I was a kid. Hogan's Heroes. Yeah, I used to enjoy that. Um, yeah, Gilligan's Island and Hogan's Heroes are Gilligan's Island. Fantastic. And we're not talking about good TV shows. This is your favorite of all time is the question. Those are great choices. Uh, 5035 High Score. There's so many score. different types Dennis, and styles. Are you, gonna, are you putting it in? No, I'm not. Cool, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> he's busy. He's busy. Burns <laughs> gave you a copy paste. That's helpful. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, no, not going to happen. Are you going to do that? Uh, absolutely not. No. Uh, that I is... can't believe. Wow. So, a 3,000, a 4,000, and a 5,000 point game. But you know what? It keeps my zero. It does. Let's see how long I can hang on to that puppy. Oh, Leon. you were playing yeah. when when uh, mm -hmm. chat decided. Yeah. But they said that they are also going to give you Kelly and Alan's points as well. Oh, great. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, chat. You got that going. You have me. now tripled your points. I'm going to need them. Yeah. <laughs> um, then, I mean, there's Friends. There's Big Bang Theory. There's Cheers. Um... Seinfeld, Buffy, as Leon talked about. Um, yeah. Well, Kelly brought that up, but yeah. <laughs> I agree with her. Um, I dyed my hair on my own, so I think I deserve a point for that. Okay, Kelly gets a point. Still haven't mentioned Firefly. I've never seen Firefly. She's not even here, but she gets a point. Kelly got a point, which means Leon got a point. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep my zero. Oh, okay. Look at that, 631. Oh, Dukes of Hazard, yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting choice. 
I'm Preston, fix that! <laughs> I guess I've got to see Firefly. Digging holes! <laughs> yes! Uh, digging uh, holes starts next so, week! Did somebody bring up digging holes? Yes! Kelly, Kelly did. Kelly, Kelly did. did. He yeah. called which, it digging which holes. Which is Oak Island for all of you yes. out there. Yes, that starts next week. Uh, I haven't seen the last three seasons. I feel like I've missed nothing. Actually, um, you have. Yes, I follow every episode. You have. Because have I, though? Every yes. week, they're going to okay. bring the... Uh, it's some really neat the stuff. Holy Grail. No, they haven't found Out the Holy the Grail. Grail but. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming, I tell you. Oh, there's so many things Ark down there. Ark of the there. Covenant, uh, Shakespeare's manuscript, long lost manuscripts. Anything's coming out of that damn hole. Yep. I agree. <laughs> it's all yes, coming Alan. this season. That show. That would be quite a parody. Um, what's it's, digging holes again? It's called The Curse of Oak Island. It's a show on the History Channel where, pe where crazy idiots with too much money uh, go <laughs> up. Leon, you just might beat me. I might. Yeah. Go up to Nova Scotia, to this little island off the uh, coast there yes. uh, in, the Atlan in the Atlantic, and um, as, as you would be if you were in Nova Scotia. And uh, they... Um, Dig big ass holes looking for this treasure you beat me. that is supposedly buried under there. Could have been buried by anyone. The Rosicrucians, could have been buried by the Filipinos. I mean, it, this, <laughs> it could be anyone could have put this thing down there, and it could be anything. But man, is it there, and they're after it. And they keep digging up wood. Yep. Um, well, which you, which on an island of oaks. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. And, uh, you know, some other stuff. But, but, and but I'll but, give you what? They're digging up wood that doesn't belong to the island and dates back like five or six centuries ago. Yeah. True. Yeah, true. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's some pretty old stuff there. People have clearly been there before, but did they bury they anything? They dug up an entire knows? wharf system. Yeah, they have found some really cool shit. Some right. medieval Roman roads. It's crazy. A lot of stuff that does not belong on a tiny little island in Nova Scotia. It is the most repetitive show on the planet, yet has us glued each and every week. The show itself is great. The guy that they have doing the announcing is horrendous. He will, Until you make a joke out of him, and then he's hysterical. Yeah, he will get on your nerves in a heartbeat. The announcer is so annoying. But the show itself is great. A piece of wood? In the uh, in the C six hole, found? which is next to the B five hole on Oak could this, Island. On Oak Island, <laughs> could this be related to the Rosicrucians? <laughs> you won. <laughs> you won. <laughs> you <With> that. <laughs> you can add Leon and I score together, and you still but beat the us. The best part of all this is no more goose egg. Give me that point. Move, <laughs> move that, that bus. bus. <laughs> all right. There you go. Bus moved. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Usually it's like, could this be related to the Knights Templar? Mm -hmm. it, yeah, it, you really, the only, the only good way to watch that show is to make a drinking game out of that guy. Because um, he is... <laughs> I really need coffee. I was up here pulling the plunger back, setting my spot with no ball in the shoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I almost let it go. <laughs> <laughs> we would have got that on camera. It would have been live on tape. Yep, filmed on film. But we, we can't see Leon. Yeah. Preston has the uh, camera set up so we cannot see the shooter lane. Oh. That's true. Well, that's Nobody true. would have seen your I mistake. I would have been saved. No need to see the shooter lane. Until some idiot starts talking about it, right? Yep. <laughs> what shooter lane? OMG, I forgot about friends. Yeah, I mentioned it a little while ago. Friends is good. Friends is good. It's no Seinfeld, but it's good. To me, the last couple of years of Seinfeld, I started, it started jumping the shark for me. Yeah. No, yeah. Only the final episode. Everybody. By the way, speaking of jumping the shark and great shows, happy days. <laughs> I, had to explain, I explained it to one of the employees the other day. Oh, yeah. I was talking about a show, and I'm like, yeah, I really jumped the shark. And he's like, he looked at me, and was like, do you know what that means? He's like, no. no. <laughs> well, of course he doesn't. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, you ever heard of the show Happy Days? He's like, no. no. And I'm like, well, I had a character on there named Fonzie. Uh -huh. He's like, I've heard of Fonzie. And I went, okay, that makes sense. He's yep. kind of iconic. Yep. Um, 
it's like he's the guy. He was so cool. He rode a motorcycle. He had a white T-shirt, leather brown leather jacket. He would walk up to things and and just tap them with his fist, and it would magically work. Yep. Uh, and then he, started, he was a mechanic. He started jumping things with his motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. And in the, towards the end of the show, he went from like cars and people to buses. Then he jumped a pool with a shark. With in a it. shark in it. And it was so stupid that everybody now says. If a show if a show has gone too far, it jumped the it shark. It has jumped the shark. When uh, when Larry David left Seinfeld, it definitely fell off. I agree with that. Um, Larry David is a uh, genius. Preston, get my uh, slide. I'll say it. Uh, everyone else is just so quiet. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, no, I, I um, it it definitely did fall off a bit when he left. It, I, I've found that it's hard to show someone an episode of Seinfeld and go, this is such a great show. Here, watch this one episode. It doesn't really work. There's no. Some, there are some that I guess do, but you kind of have to be invested in the characters to some extent already and kind of, I don't know. Like, like I just watched the... Uh, I think it was just like the Chinese restaurant. I watched that again. It's one of my favorite episodes. Caught it right. Yeah, but I watched it like I wasn't in a, you know, a headspace for it. And I was thinking about like having someone next to me that hasn't seen it and me being like, this is one of my favorite episodes of one of my favorite shows. Uh, it's hilarious. And then like as the show went on, I'm like, it's kind of like, it's okay. Like it's not really that great. It's not super funny, but it is. I, I don't know. It's it is if you know the characters. Yeah, it, yeah. Alan says it's kind of the same thing with The Office, and that is absolutely. I true. cannot, no matter how many times I try, get into The Office. I think The Office is uh, pretty good. I think it is pretty good. I think it's pretty okay. I have a hard time laughing at The Office. Uh, I don't have that problem to the same extent, but it's not like <sighs> just my favorite I, show of all time. The thing, the episode I remember the most about The Office, and I don't, and I can't remember the premise of why they were doing it, but there was something in the ceiling tiles, and they were like, "There's a cat." They were, yeah, they were throwing this cat <laughs> up in the ceiling tiles, or, or something. They were throwing up there, yeah, to try and get the cat down. That, no, they well, weren't throwing it to Chinese yeah. cat down. They were throwing the cat itself. Yeah, that's what I and thought. So there was a hole in the ceiling, yeah. and they threw the cat up through it. I think to like escape like a fire or something. Yeah, and everyone's freaking out. They throw the cat up through the hole, uh -huh. and it goes to the next <laughs> ceiling tile, and it comes down and cracks crashes through and lands on a desk. Yeah. Uh, that's what I remember the most about that show, is the cat I've never the seen that. Tile. Oh, yeah. it's so funny. <laughs> I cannot, I do not laugh my ass off watching that show at all. But Michelle, my daughter, my older daughter, Michelle, not Kelly that's in the stream here, yeah. uh, had me watch an episode Dwight's fire drill episode. where oh what's oh. his name who was the boss Steve Carell yeah, uh, Steve Carell what was his uh, name in, in the show in uh, the show well anyway what his character promises all these kids when they're like in fifth grade uh -huh. you know if you grant Michael yeah. yeah Michael they I guess they were uh, it was it was an area where kids didn't finish high school or like if you get like so you he went to the finish, school to talk to him. Yeah, I'm gonna give I'll give you all scholarships. Uh-huh. Right? Just trying to get them through. Didn't think anybody would ever remember. Right. Well, every kid made it through. And, they had, <laughs> and the teacher brings them back and and he comes in and he finds out that these kids are all expecting scholarships. scholarships. And they all have like shirts on that say Michael's kids. And, and yeah. he's got a, and he, and so he has no money. Yeah. He goes to like Radio Shack oh, and buys them like points. phone adapters or something. He goes, well, I can't give you a scholarship, but I've given everybody like a phone charger. Uh, okay, real uh, couple things. Leon, Dennis, <laughs> yeah, Preston. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I did that, although I don't know if Dennis got his point. So someone kind of zip back and see. I think I gave Leon three points and Dennis no points, and hey, I corrected yeah, that. There's no way that happened. I corrected <laughs> that by bringing uh, Leon down a point, um, but I don't 
know if he got his point that he was supposed to get. So Ooh. I should have got three points for that, huh? Um, but what I will add to Can the... Can we get our points for that? Yeah. Oh, did you not? Were you at three before? That's, that's what we're talking about right now, is if you got your point or not. You were supposed to get a point there. Were you at three before that game? I can't... Yes, I was. Okay. Well, then that answers the question. There you go. I got a point on the first game we played. I got four, Leon 3,000. I had 4,000. You had 5,000. Yeah. So I have another show to throw into the ring for uh, uh, favorite show, uh -oh. and that is Community. Oh, yes. That is an awesome show, The Paintball. The Paintball episodes will do it just by yeah. themselves, but the show as a whole is, great. is amazing. That is a great show. Yeah. <laughs> Community is an absolute gem. It absolutely is. Uh, and I think there is a YouTube channel right now yeah. that is just posting the episodes of Community in order. Um, <laughs> you mean like Netflix is already done? <laughs> no, but I mean like if you, let's say you don't have a Netflix subscription, yeah. this is a way to watch the show gotcha. is what I'm saying. That seems illegal. Uh, it's not. I guess they got the rights in some way, but it's just called Community and they're... Oh, unless it's, you know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know who runs it, but I'm, it's been around for a long time and they ha they've never had an episode taken down. So... Uh, YouTube rights. is very big about taking things down that don't belong to you, so I imagine that it's all in the, uh, it's all above board in some capacity. But, uh, yeah, I think season one they put on, like, last year sometime, I think season two is this, I think they are probably done posting that, but we'll see. That is such a great show. All in the family. Well, that goes back. <laughs> I mean, I'm going way back, yeah. I went to MASH. We haven't really talked about any other old yeah. besides. <clears throat> Kenny says, you know what that game needs? More drop targets. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I couldn't agree more. Yeah, I mean, 20 is not enough. Yep. Yeah, they could have put some up top, lazy, lazy yeah. bastards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, they, there should be drop targets right here instead of those um, stand-ups. Yeah. Uh, we do not get that reference. But uh, he might. Let's see. Kelly said, may I add, under, comma, under the dome. You may add that. I'm not sure what that is, but go ahead. Oh, my gosh. That show, Kelly? Yeah. There's a reason why it went off the air. <laughs> <laughs> but if she likes it, she likes it. You we enjoyed it. watching it together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have never heard of it. It was a dome that appeared out of nowhere over the city, and people were stuck in it. It was a clear, invisible oh, dome. So it was a Truman Show. <laughs> so, so which, which one of our nice viewers asked this question? Because this is really going on. <laughs> yeah. You, you hit a nerve. And have we given you enough good answers? <laughs> Are any of them correct? <laughs> Are any of them correct? <laughs> That subjective choice is mm -hmm. correct. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the real answer is Chico and the man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sanford and Son. <laughs> the Jefferson. Can't we watch Good Times mm -hmm. or Chico and the Man Ten or something speed and cool. brown shoe. Oh, my God. <laughs> the oh, Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. <laughs> There are the, no 10-speed and brown shoe, but hey. And in the <laughs> same line of wearing a dumb outfit as Mork and Mindy, how about the greatest American hero? Mm. Believe it or not, not, I'm walking, walking on, on air. air. Yeah. <laughs> Dino my. Oh, Kelly, quoting Mork and Mindy. The sweat Oi, 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 what a bug. <laughs> That's one of the best episodes ever. Yep. Damn it. Welcome back, Cotter. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. back. <laughs> cool. The quote that Kelly just put up there from Mork and Mindy is so the, awesome. The correct answer was Three's Company, Preston. Three's Company. Ah, yeah. no, it's not. Well, we were, <laughs> we, we were certainly circling the wagon to get there. It was coming. Yep. Yeah. It was a moment at Scrappy's. Scrappy was our dog. 
And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, was it Kelly that did it? Kelly, was it you that said, oi, 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 what a dog? <laughs> what Apple are you watches, doing? My Apple Watch is trying to play some song. <laughs> I have traveled to the future to 2033, and I'm still a loser. No one did it. Did I beat you? Yes. Yeah, how can we forget a TV show with a character named Christmas Snow in it? <laughs> Our apologies <laughs> to everyone out there. What, what show? Free's Company. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so where are we? Free's Company. <laughs> Come and knock on our door. <laughs> <laughs> We've been waiting for you. What time is it? I haven't even looked. Nine, oh, we got plenty of time. Yes, we do. Have I drank that much, or did almost, that screen just move all around? I almost tried to put three players oh, on Oh, you this. just drank that much. Preston. No, of course I moved it. <laughs> what? I almost tried to put three players on this. Oh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Doesn't work. The more I play Grand Prix in Michigan, the more I hate that y'all sold it. Should have sold Jack's Open instead. <laughs> I don't know. One had to go. Yep. I really, I really, I really, really liked Grand Prix. Um, yeah, if only we could keep everything. I enjoyed playing uh, Jack's Open a little more though. Um, just, I don't know. I don't uh, know why that is. There's some magic to me about these old Godlib wedge heads. I like the way they play. Yep. Um, Unless you're in a tournament, then they're the worst things in the world. Oh, yeah, because usually Colin has them set to where if you breathe, you... Uh, yep. That's a ball one, baby. Two lights lit. I take it. I agree, which is probably why they chose that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've played a lot of EMs. Grand Prix is really one of the best of all time. It Three. is. Yeah, there's there's zero wrong Three with it. Three lights lit. It's a great game. I, I don't. <laughs> I've only got one drop target left. Who thinks I can hit it? Let's see. <laughs> dum, da da dum dum. No, I hit nothing and like da, da, it. Dum, dum, dum. Boom! Hey, I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all four, all four. <laughs> Take that. Physically fight me. Add it to the list of fights. <laughs> 30, 30 Man, 6, 26. there's gonna be some <laughs> big fights coming. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Is someone getting sleepy? I guess, yeah. Well, you're not playing like mini it. golf with us because you haven't even set up your VR. No, because I am going to sleep. <laughs> Seriously contemplating buying a meteor up here to put next to Deadpool. Why not? I love uh, meteor. Yeah, I would. A meteor? I've been trying to find a meteor to buy for years. Yeah, we never seem to come across one at the right time at the right price. Yeah, classic sterns and for a good price and good condition are hard to come by. So I got to say, we all agree with you, Alan. Yep. So I realized uh, a couple things. One, uh, this wasn't a realization because I already talked about it two weeks ago-ish yeah. or whatever. Um, Alan has a YouTube channel. It's called uh, Alan Robertson of the Pinball Mafia. Go subscribe on YouTube to that channel and watch his videos because they are good. He tours different locations, shows you the different games and kind of what's going on. Uh, everywhere. That is a link um, that you can click um, and that will take you there. Now I said to go watch his video of him going through the mall mm -hmm. that was kind of like abandoned. It was a really funny video. Turns out he has two videos. One of them is just the arcade and the other one is the one I was talking about where he starts driving in his truck. So that's the one you're going to want to watch, not the other one. They both say the mall and they're both about the same place. Okay. But one is like but just I just a walkthrough of this little tiny place, and the other one is the walk through this mall. I thought it was so funny. But I want to see the arcade too. Oh, it's <laughs> it's at the end. All right. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Yeah.
Meteor is one of my all-time favorite pinball machines. Same. It's a, it's a classic. For sure. Really, all I know about it is to get so many letters in Meteor and don't go over, and then spinner, spinner, spinner. Like Jack's uh, Open. I know, well, I know there's more to the game than that. But that's well, it's like that's get, all I ever Get remember. so many drops without going over and drop, drop, drop. <laughs> well, in Firepower, you can. There's no holding back in firepower. On Jack's open. Oh my god, I'm uh, terrible at everything. You can still go over. Remember when I said those no, points are meaningless? Over, it resets their value. That's the rollovers, yeah. That's what I said. You get. Oh, I thought you were talking about the drops. Yeah, no. Which wouldn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense, so mm -hmm. I didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the scores? If it made sense. I just said it. Leon, um, Dennis, Preston. Yeah, yeah, already, yeah Leon, I already got Dennis, them. Have you entered them? I did. Okay. Yeah, that How was weird we walking into that place. It was a ghost town on a holiday where people usually go for sales, Labor Day or Memorial Day, one of those Merica days. Could Leon have possibly caught me and passed me up? He's been uh, he's been trucking along. I had three points to his none. Uh, you had four points to his three as well at some point. These games have been going by quick, and I've been losing. Yeah, I've had a lot of not nuns over here. Yeah. I've only had one that I lost, I thought. No, you've at least lost two because I've come over and done. I think you've lost the last, well, not lost. You got second place. I lost. You got second place in the last three games, I want to say. Ouch, Kelly. <laughs> Poor Nana. Poor Father. Round the horn. <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. So now the question on every Astro fan, is Verlander going to sign with us again next year? Who cares? That's a ball one. Who cares? Yeah. Just the greatest pitcher we've ever had. He used to be. In 2017, he was the greatest pitcher we've ever had. This was his best year ever. Mm. Was it though? Woo! Yes, it was. It didn't feel like it. Ball three, only one drop left. Because you only saw him in the playoffs. <sighs> where, where he needs to do well. He was setting all kind of records. It matters. What's we need to raid Frisco what's the pinball after tonight? This. That guy's great. Okay. He won. Okay. <laughs> is he live? What's the high score tonight? The high score tonight is less than what you have. Okay. By a significant margin. <laughs> oh my God, man! What did you do? <laughs> 9269. Wow. Almost rolled it. I'll wow. Take it. All right, let me get rid of this puny 5000 I've got here. <laughs> Whoops. Let me just move everything all over. Framber is amazing. We have We have got Thank you, Actually, Mertz. we have five starting pitchers. We do. Here, I'll get out of your way in Oops. Three, v. 2. There we one. go. Turns out if you hit V before the control, mm -hmm. just puts a V in. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it would. Thank you, Heimer. Heimer one crushed it. <laughs> what are you on and where can I get some, Kelly says. <laughs> right now, tonight I'm on Blue Note. <laughs> <laughs> And a little bit of Folgers. <laughs> I'm 
Coming for Leon. I'm on ball three. Yep. Oh, in and out of the 300 hole. Well, that won't help you. That would have. That would have done it. I think that would have caught you up. Yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> Better than that. Whoa. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I just got the notification. He just went live. I think he's playing Cult of the Lamb, which is a hilarious video game. All right. I have not heard of it. Me either. But then again, I didn't hear of World of Pinball or whatever it is I'm looking up later either. Yeah, I don't know anything <laughs> about World of Pinball. <laughs> Uh, I was like, yeah. Learning all kind of new games tonight. <laughs> well, it can't. It can't hurt, Kelly. Not everyone can have Blue Note at a moment's notice. So go with the wine and then get yourself in a tournament. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you got to deal with what you got, Kelly. I'm not, I'm not faulting you. Quick outlay there. Yeah, that was real neat. Hey, there's an emergency in San Antonio again. It's an update on the child abduction in San Antonio. Hey, on the nose. It's always San Antonio. That town causes us more uh, noises on our phone than any town in Texas. It does. <laughs> I can't tell you almost every Amber Alert we get. If you get Amber Alerts in your state, <laughs> wow, San Antonio seems to rule the roost in Texas. Four thousand six, respectable. Would win a lot in, of games. In, in, in yeah. any other game, respectable. Yeah. <laughs> Just so All happens right. in this one, crushed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we? What's the time? We are at plenty of time left. Okay. 9.43. All right. At least one more single ball game for sure. Yep. Maybe two. Maybe two, yeah. <laughs> I'll agree with that. There's a quick 664. That was skillfully nudged off that yellow drop target bank. Thank you. Green's lit. Green's lit. Oh, in and out of yeah. the green in lane. I was hoping for it. And I got a big nothing burger. Well, you didn't go down the out lane, so yeah. you won. It's <laughs> flirting with it. It wants to go down there. Instead, it goes all the way over to the left. <laughs> He's scared of the light. Go into the light, Carol Ann. <laughs> That's a green light. The kids up here must not be wanted. Nope. Is Texas the only state that does that Amber Alert system? No. No. Absolutely not. I uh, think that's a. I think that's a nationwide it's thing. It's live and nationwide. Thirty-seven twelve. All righty. Hmm. Yeah, it's not it's not me next. No, it? I was wondering why you were standing over here. I just like the just breeze. Double over checking there. to see Leon right score. <laughs> All right, everyone, I heard that. You know, <laughs> y'all know I'm here, right? <laughs> uh, 
I don't think I've gotten one Amber Alert in Michigan in that year and a half of being up here. The kids up here must not be wanted. <laughs> oh. That's hilarious. That's terrible, ain't it? It's just a joke, internet. <laughs> <laughs> Bad joke, but funny. Yep. Nonetheless. Most, uh, I would say, I've only gotten one. The, the one today was like a, well, I guess they're all real. I mean, but what, the if, alert? yeah, it felt more. And I guess the other ones probably are more severe. Come to think of it, but like most of them, you'll read it's like Amber Alert, like child abducted, and it's like, uh, you know, like small, like two year old or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, Sarah Valdez or something okay. abducted by. You know, twenty-seven-year-old Steve Valdez. It's always like just like the father has taken her, yeah. and it's like obviously that's horrible. Yeah, I but figured, like, I figured that's where you were going. But I'm it. like, oh well, they know at least who has her and what's going. You know, and it's yeah. like, it's not some it's stranger. It was probably a custody battle or something, and they, but maybe not. I don't. I don't pretend to know, <laughs> and I understand that these children are actually in danger. I get it. But it just doesn't feel as dangerous to me when I when I see it. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, they know who's got her, and things are going a certain way, maybe. But very funny, Alan. <laughs> That's just my knee jerk reaction Dennis, to it. I know Philly it's, fans it's uh, and obviously. A, I don't know. I feel like I need to yeah. explain myself on that, but they got to do something with all those incorrect shirts. That's funny, Sinky. Sinky's radio station plays the police blotters, and you have to guess Florida, Ohio, or Texas for the crime. <laughs> 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 A game that works. I like it. And they still get people guessing other states. <laughs> you can't do that with Louisiana because all the police blotters are going to be, well, Boudreaux went and did this. Oh, yeah, in this parish and yeah. that parish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and this parish, Thibodeau stole, a, yeah. <laughs> stole an alligator. It's usually always Florida. How can Florida have so many bad things when all the old people go there to retire? <laughs> Seems like it would be very low crime. Apparently they just go to Orlando. <laughs> Did you say Florida seems like it would be low on crime? Oh, yeah, all the old people just go to retire. Seems <laughs> like it would just be full of yeah. well, what, what bunch of, of people who eat dinner at 3 o'clock and go to bed. Me. <laughs> What'd you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the buffet's at 3. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I win. Okay. Zach Kenny Garner says old people are gangsters. <laughs> That's very true, Kelly. Speaking of that type of game, living in Texas is a giant game of is that a firework or a gunshot? And guess which one of those is illegal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, a firework or a gunshot probably is played all over the country. I cannot believe how many idiots are out there who go out there and fire live rounds up in the air. Up in the air <laughs> thinking they're not going to come back down? Yeah. 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 There's no gravity. Yeah. 
Uh, if that is one of you guys, I'll let you know, they come back down. <laughs> <laughs> they come back down at a speed called not terminal velocity. Not quite as uh, not quite no. as fast as they went up, but they're, they're come they down come at down <laughs> pretty quick. Come down at terminal velocity. Yeah. I, uh, on the 4th of July, everyone always goes out for fireworks, and I'm, I always try to stand under something, <laughs> just in case. You never know. You really don't. Everyone, everyone keeps thinking, I'm, every time I do it, people look at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. And then there's inevitably a news report about, oh, there's a bullet came down on some lady, went through some lady's roof and into the, or whatever. Into her cup of coffee. Yeah, and it's like, so that's why. Not the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it's these cans. He, he hates, hates these, these cans. cans. <laughs> uh, I actually don't. I, uh, so I don't know the numbers on that burst. I imagine they go up Woo. a good amount faster. We're under. They have a, to go up faster. Yeah. We're, we're under a dense fog advisory tonight. Dense fog. Yeah. Yes, I mean, they go up much faster than they. They come have broken down. the sound barrier uh, by quite a bit going up, and mm -hmm. when they, they fall silently, yeah. so um, they definitely go up significantly no, faster. No, no, panic flipped. Oh. <laughs> These cans are defective. Everything falls at the at same speed. That's what terminal velocity is. Mm -hmm. So, no, it's. There is a speed at which nothing falls faster than. Depending on the drag cool, on the. Yes, cool, you could have drag, <laughs> but nothing can fly, nothing falls faster than that particular speed. It's not a singular speed though. Everything has its own velocity that I know of. No, it's called terminal velocity. I, I hear what you're saying, but I think the speed at which you hit that is based on um, the force, not necessarily, like your wind resistance kind of equaling the... If you, if you, yeah, it's if not, the drag it's is not. different, that's different. No, because the terminal velocity of a feather is, signi that has drag. is significantly uh, lower than the velocity of, a, of like a bowling ball or something. Yeah, because it has drag. Bone That's bone what I'm it. saying. So yeah, they don't I fall at the don't. same rate. They do fall at the same rate in a vacuum. Is that what you mean? But that's not terminal velocity. That's just things falling based on gravity. Yeah. Terminal velocity is only, only comes into play when there is resistance. Okay. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, I'm no scientist, so chat. Yes, yes you are. Uh, we, I know our chat is full of scientists <laughs> and can help us out. There, I'm just saying there is a speed at which things cannot fall faster than. What if you push them? Unless they're propelled. But yeah, but but each thing has its own speed <laughs> yeah. based on how it interacts with the air. So there isn't a speed. Terminal velocity. It's not like 700 miles an hour. A is bowling terminal ball, velocity. I do believe, will fall as fast let's, as a safe. Let's say you're falling with the bowling ball, and you've reached <laughs> terminal velocity. Yeah. And then you shove the bowling ball. That's then you've introduced. <laughs> you propelled it. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're falling with it, right? Yeah, I'm just, just I'm, it. Yeah. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> So then it can fall faster. <laughs> I came here to be dumb, <laughs> not think about poor school stuff. That's like why, remember when we were kids driving the car? We used to wonder why when you throw up a tennis ball, it didn't go shooting out the back window. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, the fun days. <laughs> the air inside the car is traveling at the same speed. Yeah.
Unless you are the road runner. <laughs> in a cartoon, <laughs> yeah. you do not fall until you look down and realize you are no longer on solid ground. Dennis this Preston. still holds true. Yes, it does. All right, it is Powerball payoff time. Yes, it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, he is replacing the steel ball in the game with a ceramic power ball. Is there anything that will describe it to him? Let's find out. What's this button do? 20% lighter. 100% faster. 1,000% more fun. It's a power ball. <laughs> so, like I said, replace the steel ball with ceramic ball. It's all those numbers you just saw. And, man, is it oh. fun. Be prepared for some wild ass pinball action. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, you see that? I'm getting no points. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the power of ball is a thousand percent more quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hear the tabs. <laughs> wow. Didn't even want to stay. Oh, in got the, an in lane. In the top hole there. Yes. I got the red lift. I agree. Oh, Burgers. straight to the red. Oh, Twice, the red. Three, three times. times. Four, Four times. Woo. Wow, that was 1,200 points of red right there. Yep. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. I think I'm trying to go up for some more red action. Yep. Prepare yourselves. It's a red action night. And now the blue is lit. We want to stay to the left. Oh, the spin on the ball. I saw it. And it gripped the flipper and just ran. <laughs> <laughs> but I could see that power ball spinning. Could you? Yeah, it's insane. We want to stay left, idiot. Go over there. Yeah. <laughs> left. There you go. In the blue. Moody Mystery says, Beyonce says, go to the left, to there's the left. There's the green, there's the green. Oh, like that. Perfect. Right in the, oh, I thought that was in. It's all right. Oh, no, yellow is the only one you The only want. one he didn't want to go in, and he went in it. Yep. That would be true if that wasn't red, Alan. It does look kind of orange on the, uh, on the camera, though. Oh, that's only two balls, so off we go. A little softer this is a great place, uh, yeah. score for Powerball. The red and blues for the Bills. Go Bills! Woo! Get in there. Get up. I made it true. <laughs> oh, 6,000. I'll take it. On a Powerball payoff night, I can use those points. I would absolutely take that. Yeah. So the points uh, for this game, for those who don't know, which I don't think is anyone currently in the chat, uh, they're doubled. So that is first place is going to get four points up there. And uh, second place is going to get two points. Last place is going to get double zero. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to put highest score of the night point in. That'll do it. Is a topper really worth 2000 No. No. I would it never. It is absolutely not at all in any way worth that. A topper is not worth a thousand. That is, that shouldn't I'd be like a hot take. I'd like to the damn ball, yeah. please. <laughs> How about 2001? St <laughs> I, think, I think it still stands, Borg yeah. Dog. <laughs> yeah. Still a big hell no, as Alan typed in there. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, 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 ex well, I guess that's not true. Borg Dog is a family member. Thank you so oh much. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kenny that Gardner, for gifting us sub wow. once again. Man, he is really sticking to his guns on that. He is. Um, that is fantastic. So this is our final game. If you're new out there and haven't typed in chat, now's your chance. Yep. You Get may walk away with a subscription. You may not. You may not. But so far. <laughs> I, know, I know if it was me gifting it, you wouldn't. Yeah. But <laughs> since it's Kenny... There's, yeah. a, there's a good chance. He has been on fire tonight. Thank you very much, Kenny. Yeah, I really do appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. No! Oh. I, went fi I finally got those things lit, and then I couldn't get yeah. it up there to him. So Dennis does not come back. Hey, where'd everybody go? There we are. 31 Dennis does not <laughs> come back and beat me. Hey, where'd everybody <laughs> go? 
But I just made it harder on Preston. <laughs> yes, you did. Hey, so I, I stand a pretty good chance of coming out with a win tonight. That was looking pretty bad. Yeah. Back here on Iron Maiden when I in the first game of that. Back when I couldn't flip at all. Oh no! <laughs> hey, that was look at this. Really stupid on Things my part. Things are looking up for Leon tonight. <laughs> Oil and if I win a sub, I prefer an Italian sub with onions, oil, vinegar, and Italian seasoning. Ooh, I got to say. We just had one of those. Yeah, we did. Oh, my God. That's, ex that's exactly the sub that we ordered uh, last week. Yep. Good choice. You can go to Subway with us any day. <laughs> yep. Alan's wanting one, too, so. You know it's good if all of us Italians are agreeing with you. Did he pass me? Yeah, he did. Uh, yes. Is that ball three? That was ball three. Yes. This so, is going to work out pretty good for me. <laughs> that it will. I think I also got so, high score of the night. Five so we'll early on with high score. There. Two from, for Preston. From zero to hero tonight. Wow. Those yeah. up there are the high, or the high scores are the scores for the night, ladies and gentlemen. Also, technically, I guess a high score is up there. Thank you so much for, <laughs> let me yeah, get what, over here to where you can see me. You got to point the opposite of the screen. so much for stopping by. We enjoy playing pinball with you guys every single week. It is a blast. There's links down below that you can click. Also, there's a link if you scroll up in the chat. Go watch Alan's YouTube channel. Oh, we're also supposed to raid someone, but I don't know the channel name, so someone put it in chat. What's that channel name? Frisco Pinball, maybe? Is it all one word? Yeah. Oh, I'm typing in the wrong dude. Yeah, I've got, nope. I've got Kelly's video for the outro ready to go and her new Astros colored hair. Kelly, are you ready to talk? Yes. Yeah, Kelly. <laughs> I've got it right here in my hand. See, look, there you are. I need to know the channel name. Is it all one word? Help. Maybe here you can see. Please, someone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Kenny Gardner, thanks for all those subs. Wow, that was insane. <laughs> We're getting answers to other questions. I know you got a timer when you do that. So when the timer starts, what's going on? I'm trying to just search their thing and see what they are if it's all one uh, word or not Frisco it's, it's all, all one word, all one word. we've word. got our own answer all right boom there's the timer right it's been created so in nine Here seconds we we're doing it kelly says this well um we just wanted you guys to know that if you love pinball we, we love you oh, and good night everybody let them know we sent you